All right. Customer says been sitting up a long time. Nothing leaves this shop unless it starts first pull. Let's fix it. We are live uncut. Rayleigh Small Indians. I'm T-Bone. Let's see if we can get it up on the cart. Not allowed to lift stuff because of my stupid back doing stupid things for too long. Uncut, start to finish. When we get through with this mower, it's gonna start first pull, we hope. Get on there. First thing, let's take a look at this oil. Of course it pulled over fine. Let's just see what we're working with here. Not terribly dirty. A little above a full mark there. That's okay. It's fine, we'll change that. Next step, let's take a look. You know, our first one of my first things I like to do, blade, it doesn't look bent. It's actually sharp still, a little rusty, but it's not bent, so I don't see a flywheel key problem. <coughs> we need smell-o-vision. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, let's just choke it all the time. All right. Well, we know what we got, folks. This air filter right in the trash because it ain't going back on. Get us over here in position. We're gonna need a eight millimeter or five sixteenths and a seven millimeter and a few other tools. Let's take her down. Did I check fire anything? No. I could. I tell you what, let's redo something. Told you this is gonna be live. Get on there. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to check compression and fire at the same time. I need to show you guys that. See, when we're filming, we'd have cut all this out, all the mistakes I did. I'm going to give a little bit of flammable brake cleaner, or you can use carburetor cleaner or a little shot of gas. Let's see if it runs and dies. Raw footage, folks. Oh my God. Uh oh. Well, let's do that one more again. Sometimes there's problems with those cables, will not let it fire. Sometimes you just don't know. I'm glad I did that. I thought it was going to be a carburetor rebuild, y'all. Let's see if we got any sparkles in here. Ooh, shiny plug. Look at that shiny gold tip thing there. See it? Let's 
see what we're working with. That's wet. Ain't no way. Why is that so wet? <coughs> I stuck it in my nose. Let's see if we got any sparkles. We're going to start a fire. That's about what we're about to do. It's just a little jumper, so I don't have to try to prop it up on the muffler. Let's see if I can get it where you guys can see that. Look at all that come off of there. <laughs> all right. Y'all tell me, do we have spark? We have spark. Did y'all see spark? What in the world could be wrong? She should have fired up. Let's go get a new sparkle later. That's probably a RC12YC. I'm going right up in here. We're going to get a BKR4E. Let's pop one in. See what's going to happen, Captain. Sometimes those cables on that pull handle up there will stretch and they'll uh, cause them not to spark. Well, if I can get this thing started, now some people use that rule about quarter turn, half turn. I don't do that. The spark plugs, they have a crush washer. See that little crush washer right there? Now, what I do, you'll feel the tension on it. This is how I do it. You do it how you want to. I can feel the tension, and then it gets hard, and I give a little oomph past that. That's what I want. That's the way I do it. Y'all do it how you want to. Let's see what'll happen now. Will it run and die, or is it just a spark plug? Uh -oh. Run and die. Got something out of it. We know we got fire. We know we got compression. Let's try this one more again. See if I can flood it one more time. So it might be more than one problem. There she goes. We got a carburetor problem too. See how hard that was? And I can feel that compression. You just get a feel for it. I almost never use a compression tester and I'll tell you why. Yes, it is a very handy tool to have. But the reason I don't, most of these engines have a compression release. And the only way to get a comp true compression uh, reading is going to be when uh, you release the valves. These are eight millimeter in here. Then you're gonna to need to swap to a seven millimeter. This plate mounts with the eight millimeter screws. The ones to the carburetor mount with seven. Y'all say hey to Mrs. T, she is filming for us today. A little fuel tank pop loose. Block this fuel off. We're gonna get this old gas out of this thing. And yeah, you might can try. I'll show you in a minute, but you might can try taking that little plug out the bottom and all that. Why don't I just take the carburetor off and go on and clean it? Just be done with it. Know it's right when you're done. I can't take the chance 
uh, letting one go out of here and come back. I'm going to set this over here. Somebody really ought to clean this up. I'll let that old gas just drain. Let's go back to this carburetor, folks. Well. And all I'm going to do is lean it over. A little Z-bend there for your choke. Pull it out a little further. And yeah, I'm draining. Ooh, there's water. There's water. Do y'all see that? That's water. 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 All right. Now, you notice right here, there's your O-ring and a little cap. So we'll reuse that. It looks pretty decent. Not cracked up or anything. So... Let's do a quickie clean on this carb, see what happens. You need that same seven millimeter socket. That's why I started with eight millimeter, go to seven, because you're gonna need that for right there. Let's get a little bit of this off of here. Now, I want y'all to hold your ears a minute. I'm just trying to get a little of this off. Now, you can clean this as much as you want. All right, hold your ears. Here goes some air. People fuss about these carburetors all the time. Usually I mute all that noise in my squeaky chair. Not this time. Two seven millimeter screws. A little screwdriver. A little wedge in here. Come on. Boy, that one's stuck. Look at, see the water? Look at the water. See that? That's all water. Gas absorbed up a lot faster. Let's go ahead and squirt this bowl out. Hold your ears again, folks. That looks more gooder. Now, let's do the rest of it. And my screwdriver. Let me get a little heavier one. I like it better. I reach right in here and pop your needle. I mean, your uh, float bowl, needle, and seat. Flip, float bowl, needle, and seat. Now, I'm going to turn this carburetor around. And I'm going to get right here. Pop that up. Now here is the trick that not a lot of people know about these. People go, oh, I cleaned my carburetor and I cleaned this up. Well, here's something a lot of people don't know. Grab right here, right here. What do you find? Little holes in the emulsion tube right there. Your jets are here and here. So let's get a little tool and let's clean this mess up. And all I do, and yeah, these torch tip cleaners, they got little files. We don't want to open the holes up. We just want to clean them real good. And that is the tiniest one in the pack. Next one up. Still look too big. Beautiful. Let's see, I'm doing all this, and then next, we're going to come over here and do a little brake cleaner. This one's your main jet. It's a little bigger. See that bigger one fits in there? Okay. Let's clean this up now. I'm going to shoot a little stuff. Make sure your finger's all nice and clean like mine. <clears throat> Don't want to get any additional dirt in there, do Oh, yeah. Hold your ears. All right. Let's get this other piece. I'm going to do a little shot through that jet there. Come on. Get in there. See it running out. 
Make sure those are clean. Well, you're watching. Really small engines, you're getting to the point. Get to the point, T-Bone. You're getting to the point, YouTube channel. So there you go. Gotta force that thing. Hey, y'all go ahead. If you like this video, click that subscribe button. Let's get rid of some more water. You know what would be really cool? Is if y'all go. Hold your ears. I'm blowing air into the, where the needle goes and feeling for air here with my thumb. Yeah, I'm going to feel it. See? I'm just kidding. Um, get on, uh, share these videos with all of your favorite. See how easy that went? With all of your favorite Facebook and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of looking. Down inside, let's see if I can get a light. Is there a light over here? Here's one. Down inside, sometimes that piece, that white piece doesn't want to go in. I can get my stupid light to work. There it goes. There's a plastic piece down in the throat of this carburetor, and you can't see it because it's dirty. A lot of times they're white, and they'll dislodge and slide out of the big side of the throat, and then you can't get this piece in. And what you do is just look in that hole and you can see that they're lined up. If it doesn't, just push it back in with your finger. It's really simple. All right, rocking on. Needle looks pretty good. Let's get a little extra dirt on it on my dirty fingers. Y'all say, oh, y'all should have done this. You should have cleaned it up. And I'm just showing you how to get one running, folks. Lining that back in, sits right down. I'm gonna take my thumb. Have y'all seen fix a plastic carburetor for free video? Have you seen it? If you have, let us know down in the comments. Cause I've got a video that's very detailed on this carburetor. See me just push that down on that O-ring. I'm gonna take a screw right here. Let's get another one right here. Now, one of my other favorite tools, <clears throat> a little Vaseline. Now, that O ring, Vaseline it up. Reason it'll slide better up on the intake. Put your O ring in first. And then this little white piece, and it'll snap in with your thumbs. Hear that? Click. All right, moving on. Excuse the squeaky chair. Everybody always pushes about my old squeaky chair. It's an old shop, folks. Old everything, including me. Little Z-bands, just pop these back on. Flip this up and push. Nice. What did I do with my other? There it is. Let's clean this up back here a little bit. Main thing is I want to make sure this is clean and seals good. Hold your ears. up there all right let's go do something with this fuel tank now some people is going to ask well, why don't you just dump it out well i'll tell you why if you dump it out this way this neck goes down in here and you just can't get it all out i hear stuff there's still water can you see it in the funnel down here look at that water still in this tank 
We have got to get all that out. Mm-hmm. There's water. Yeah, because I didn't see any any of the jets stopped up. Y'all, y'all thank Mrs. T for doing this camera work. Yeah, well. <laughs> all right. One of the best tools to get rid of all that water out of these fuel tanks is spray cleaner. I use it all the time. That's what I use for starting fluid and everything. And just get one that says flammable, works great. Squirting it in here, squirting it in here, shake around, get all you can get out. All right, hold yours again. See it coming out. I don't know where my regular flashlight is at. Well, I don't see any water. I got no way for you guys to see down in here. A little bit of stuff still in there. Let's give her some air. Y'all hold your ears. Now that stupid compressor's on. Ooh, that's much more gooder. I'm gonna be in this fuel line right here. I hope y'all can hear me over that stupid air compressor back right there. Our regular air compressor broke. Well, it started leaking and I'm scared of the tank. And now I'm using one of them cheapy ones. Put the fuel line up right there. All right. Still same socket. Now I'm going to start back on my seven millimetric. Don't forget to hook your breather hose up back here. There it is. That'll hold that in place. Look at the dirt in there. I can't do that. in the hole stupid thing there it goes y'all think it's gonna start first pull do that by hand be very careful these are plastic they will strip don't do what I do do what I tell you I've done this once or twice. All right. You know what? I'm so confident. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go on over and get us a brand new air filter. We done got a new spark plug. Might as well go get a new air filter too, huh? All right. Where are they at? Right here. There we go. Normally we get these in, and um, when I check that blade, if it needs it, I'll sharpen it. This one didn't need it. It was really sharp already. All right, let's blow a little of this out. Y'all hold your ears again. Yeah, I know, and I go through cases of brake cleaner. But it works good, it dries fast. That's just the way I do it. Y'all do it how you want to. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> Tank went down all the way. There we go. All right, let's get work on this. And yes, we're, we're gonna change the oil in this also. I'm probably not gonna show that in the video, but 
Well, he will change it before the customer gets it back. If it runs right, y'all think? Do not start screws with the impact gun. Again, don't do what I do. Do it a T. All right. I think we need some gas. I keep a little can of this and a little can of two stroke up under my bench. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me very much. Y'all click that subscribe button, ring that bell, share these videos with your friends. Man, we love each and every one of you. Thanks for everybody that subscribes and comments and watches. Every time we put a video out, we're about to find out. Did T-Bone win or not? Here we go. Woo! We appreciate you guys watching. Y'all tell Mrs. T hello down in those comments. Subscribe now. Subscribe. Check out T-Bone After Hours too. We'll see you next time.